This video is going to show you the basics of installing plastic pipe that is 6 inches in diameter and larger. Plastic pipe is an incredibly useful and cost-effective material. When installed in accordance with this video and our technical and installation manual, you'll have years of worry-free operation. We can't cover everything. That's why installation only should be done by a licensed plumbing contractor who is familiar with local plumbing codes and regulations. Additional information can be found at charlottepipe.com technical. There are nine stages to installing plastic pipe six inches and larger. There are a lot of ways to cut plastic pipe. Whatever tool you use, the most important thing is to get a square cut. For pipe this size, acceptable tools include reciprocating saw, mechanical cutoff with carbide tip blade, or, if you've got a lot of spare time, a hand saw. Measure and mark the required length of pipe. Remove all burrs from the inside and the outside of the pipe with a deburring tool. Bevel the edges to a 10 to 15 degree angle. A variety of tools are available. Clean and dry the pipe and fittings. Next, using a pipe wrap as a straight edge, mark the insertion depth of the fitting. Then make a second mark two inches past the insertion depth. Do a dry fit. With light pressure, the pipe should go one half to two thirds of the way into the fitting hub. Pipe and fittings that are too tight or too loose shouldn't be used. With pipe over 6 inches in diameter, we recommend a crew of 2 or 3 people. For 10 inches and larger, a crew of 3 to 4 people. Even if you could manage to do this yourself, it is difficult, if not impossible, to put the joint together before the primer and cement begin to set. Before you begin, select the appropriate cement for the job and make sure it is well mixed. Heavy bodied cement is recommended. No matter what kind of pipe you are joining, you always want to use an applicator that is half the size of the pipe you are joining. So for a 10 inch pipe, you'd use a five inch applicator. For ABS pipe, primer is not recommended. So you can go straight to the cement step. For PVC and CPVC of all sizes, first apply primer to the fitting, then to the pipe, then apply a second coat of primer to the fitting. Really work it in aggressively to work the primer into the surface. Next, coat the surface with cement. Don't waste time. The cement must be applied while the primer is still wet. Apply a full and even layer of cement to the pipe surface to a point a half an inch beyond the hub depth. Then apply a medium layer of cement to the fitting socket. Apply a second full coat of cement to the pipe surface without allowing the cement to puddle or accumulate inside of the system. Quickly assemble pipe and fittings while the cement is still fluid. If it hardens, you have to cut the pipe and start over with a new fitting. It is very important that the pipe is fully inserted into the fitting. Large diameter pipe is heavy and can be resistant to insertion. We recommend that you use a pulling tool. Lastly, remove excess cement from the joint. A properly made joint will show a continuous bead of cement around the perimeter. If you see gaps, you might not have applied enough cement and the joint may fail. That's our overview of how to install plastic pipe that's six inches and larger in diameter. With larger diameter pipe, having enough people and using enough cement are key. Always read the technical manuals for everything that you use when installing six inch diameter and larger plastic pipe. If you install the pipe correctly in accordance with the technical manual using compatible materials, and if you pay attention to the details, you'll have a world-class plumbing system that should provide years of solid performance. You'll find a link to our technical manual at charlottepipe.com technical. And if you run into anything in the field that you can't figure out, please contact us at charlottepipe.com technical.